So in today's episode of Amnesia, um, I show off my noobishness and derp around for a very, very long time and have to eventually cut the video. So yeah, it's lots of fun. Enjoy. Hey guys. Okay, so here we are in another episode of Amnesia. We are faced with the dilemma of whether or not to continue our journey. Uh, well, really, we don't have any other places we can go. Or um, jump uh, out this door, out this window. And I'm scared to jump simply because fall damage. But I think we have a jumping puzzle on our hands. Nice. Okay. So I'm going to jump from ledge to ledge. Oh, yeah. Okay, we just witness, witnessed an unsettling event here. And I feel bad now because I threw Bunny <laughs> off into that nasty, goopy mess. Um, he'll forgive me. Uh, monster's not after him. It's after me. What is this? It's a memory thing. Um, is that oil? I'm gonna close that. Um, looks like somebody wanted something in here though, uh, which is fun. Uh, poor bunny. Um, I have to find his way back up. I will not worry about him. He's a big boy. Okay, we found a memory capsule thing. When will it be mine? Have I not shown restraint? My patience spans centuries from where I came. Mankind has not even wasted a breath, yet I bow to you. I have done so much for you, and I have gained nothing in return. Agrippa, I trusted you. It was I who, in all fairness, should have entered that gate. Oops. So Agrippa was that guy who um, who uh, was that guy's mentor, I think, if I remember from the last, last episode. Um, that note that he wrote telling him about, oh, I should tell you, I warn you about the thing. Oh, uh, yeah, we got so much lantern fuel. Mm. That's what I want to see. Oh, uh, that looks like a... Um, thingy. A rod. We like rods. Um, but we don't like being chased, and I'm pretty sure we'll get chased. So I'm, I should do some exploration really quick. Find out what's going on out here. Well, jack crap's doing on out down here. There's, there's nothing going on out here. So, ah, this guy, see, I keep thinking he's on a scooter. This is the same dilemma I've had the last couple times we've um, seen that painting. Um, so yeah, we have nowhere to go if, um, if something chases us. We only can run out this way, which will involve me running and jumping um, ferociously. And I'm, I'm, not a, I'm not a ferocious jumper, but anyway, let's, let's read this note. If the elevator, uh, elevator machine instructions. If the elevator breaks down again, make sure you use the steam engine to build up pressure before channeling it into the machinery. Adjust the lever to get the right amount of pressure inside the chamber. The meter should read up eight and down eight. And make sure the flow is set accordingly to the following chart. Trinity, sis, Trinity steam set functions for phase amplitude and complete steam flow cycle. Note that the machine will not check proper configurations until all rods are inserted. Okay. So, we have here um, a singular rod. I don't know which one. Tear it out of the way. Um, yeah. So, let's, let's grab it. We got the flow cycle rod. Uh, let's retreat out this window. Um, get chased by something. And cry. I think the trees, the trees are chasing me. 
Let's go. Let's just run. Let's get out of here. Let's get out of here, man. There's nothing in here for us. We're done. We're out. We're out. The strange letter frightened him, but it was also the only one which offered some comfort. Yeah, okay, this, this game is full of contradictions now, and it's starting to get annoying. Okay. Let's see here. Now we have one of the rods, but we really can't do anything. I'm getting a little annoyed. Um, I guess we should probably go to the machine room. No. That would probably do something. I'm gonna go check if there's anything else in this little area here. Oh, this little area is where the elevator is, I think. Which is where the machine room is. Duh. Okay. So let's, let's go in here. Machine room. We got a key for it. So let's get it. It's so active, but we're actually doing stuff. We flipped through the Book of Monarchs looking for the etchings and counted. Nine different kings from all over Europe have depicted with an orb resting in their hand. Okay, so this orb goes deeper than we thought. This orb goes. So we got a machine room here. Uh, there's a note. We're gonna read that. Uh, none of these boxes we can touch. Oh. Eight up and eight down. Well, we can do that easy um, because those are Roman numerals. Um, we gotta, I'm gonna light this. I'm gonna use our last um, thing because I feel like I'm gonna fool around here for a while trying to figure out what eight up and eight down is. Nice. So I'll go eight. Up. Oh, okay, we'll figure it out sometime. Um, not a big deal. Uh, can read this real quick. Professor Taylor at the Faculty of History was very helpful, and I managed to approach the subject of the orbs. The most interesting aspect was the prevalent trace they had left in our culture. The mythic orbs may, in fact, have inspired the Globus Crucica, which so many royal regalia holds to this day. In ancient times, the orbs were held by priests as a symbol of the sun and its power. As I was leaving, I overheard a disturbing Sir conversation. William Sir William Smith, the geologist, was killed last night. Less than a fortnight had passed since I'd asked for his expertise. I know it's silly, but I can't help feeling responsible somehow. Yeah, Daniel, you should probably not make friends. Um, you're spreading your taint around them, which I'm sure they don't appreciate. I want it. I, I wouldn't want to help you. We're picking up tinder boxes like they were going out of style. Oh, but we can't get this one. Why can't we get this one? Come on. Crouch. There we go. Took some puzzle puzzle solving there. Uh, but we got it. What? What? Excuse me? Somebody? Somebody said it shouldn't be. This shouldn't be. What shouldn't be? Um, I don't have a crate. I'm not coming to sneak up on you and hit you with it. Um, honest to goodness. But, um, where are you? And are you armed? I'd rather not be surprised and startled and have to throw something at you. Uh, okay. It's probably Daniel talking to himself because he's cool like that. Uh, got a note here. Got a lantern. Ah, uh, and that is where we put our rods. Uh, I guess we can put the rod we have right now, if we wanted to. Uh, do we want to? Uh, please be oil. Uh, tinderboxes, that's actually what I wanted more, because I've got plenty of oil, don't I? Yeah, we still got plenty of oil. That's good. Uh, this note over here is going to talk about something. This address book and received answers of varying I've read importance. The subject, which is a little... oh, Today, he did I got it. one he which differed greatly from the others. 
from a baron in Prussia. He said nothing about the quaint stories of priests in underground temples. He didn't even mention them. He simply wrote, I know, I can protect you. Come to Brennenburg Castle. Signed, Alexander. Oh, this is... What am I to make of this? Protect me from what? Is someone after me? I looked up Brennenburg and traced it to the Prussian woods near the Baltic Sea. While being the least informative letter I've received, it causes me greatest distress and interest. As I write, my thoughts are drawn to my nightmares in which a most disturbing sound calls to me. A sound defying description. A voice from the void. The last few weeks have been awful, with so many sleepless nights dreading a repeat of those horrid dreams. Tomorrow, I shall visit my physician, Dr. Tate, in hope that he can provide Dr. me with Tate. sedatives to help me sleep. Okay, so um, that was that was the um, meeting of uh, Brennenberg. Uh, that's that's how. Uh, What's his name? Daniel got himself wrapped up in this psychopath's um, little game here. So yeah, um, that's what I'm. I'm gonna figure out. This Brennenberg is a psychopath, and he's just put this all together. And yeah, so we got another note. We're gonna read it. Note: that There are only two spare rods left in storage for the elevator machinery. Make sure that to only discard the ones which are badly damaged and keep the others in the inner study rooms in case all three would crack again. Okay, so what we need to find is the, um, we need to find the explosive stuff, and maybe I over overlooked that because, yeah, I, I need that. Uh, it's a dark in there, I don't like it dark. In, in Emma's story, and you couldn't, uh, you weren't allowed to touch it. it like, it. was that in here? Is there a door opening? Oh. <sighs> okay. Sorry, that was, that, was, that was my my bathroom. Okay. We're good. <laughs> I, got, I, got, I got very terrified. Okay. Um. Got a place that contains a few drops of lantern fuel. We're gonna save that because we don't need any lantern fuel right now. Oh goodness gracious! Um, so this looks this looks very involved. Uh, looks like we have to probably shovel some coal or something into. Yeah, we probably have to put the coal in the furnace. But I don't want to do that until we. Um, if we have to put these gears on too. I'm gonna, I'm gonna be very upset if that's the case. There we go. Cool. Okay, I guess we do have to put cogs in place. But again, we have to find um, our thing. Our um, nitroglycerin right now. So we are going to abandon the project of putting these gears. Where they need to be. I thought okay. I thought that was a flying box for a second. Okay, we're good. We're good. Um, so yeah, we're gonna we're gonna ban that project for now. Uh, where is our way out? Oh, it's right there. Uh, we're gonna go back into the storage room and try to find that explosive stuff. He panted heavily, trying his best to keep himself from screaming. The medicine cabinet had been overturned and like collapsed on the floor. He reached through the broken glass door and grabbed all the sedatives, sedatives he could find. Yeah. We're looking up at the sky. Don't know why. Uh, is there a room I'm missing? Um, I probably am. I would. I would. I would be a noob. Babyface can help us out here. Hey, yo, Babyface. Oh. Don't forget your bag, Daniel. I won't, Herbert. Herbert. There is no shame in using a parasol in the desert. 
As it happens, it's imperative to your survival. Yeah. But it looks ridiculous. It does. The shade will hurt much less than dying, I assure you. Ah, uh, baby face. Why'd you bring that memory back up to me? Gross. You're gross. Uh, we're gonna end it on you. Um, I think. No. We really haven't done anything to you. I, I lied. We're gonna go down to the storage room. Come on. We can do this. It's been a long ass video. He panted heavily, trying his best to keep himself from screaming. The medicine cabinet had been overturned and lay in on the floor. He reached the... Oh, it's the same one that we just, we just had. We probably have to do something story related before it'll change. 